when you're talking about this Lazarus group is they become known in the market after the Sony picture hack which has happened in 2014 exactly Sony Pictures Entertainment is reeling from what may be the biggest and most devastating computer hacking in Hollywood's history Today, the U.S. government pointed the finger of blame directly at North Korea for the devastating cyber attack against Sony Pictures. Members of the conspiracy are responsible for some of the most damaging and most well-known cyber intrusions in history, including the cyber attack targeting Sony Pictures, cyber heist of Bangladesh Bank, and creating the WannaCry ransomware. Today I want to discuss about uh, another APT group which is called as a Lazarus group and uh, when you're talking about the Lazarus group is also known as a hidden cobra and it is a North Korean state sponsored cybercrime group which is according to the source and it has been active since last 2000, uh, 2009 exactly 2009 so the group is believed to be uh, connected to the reconnaissance general bureau North Korea primary intelligence agency and their operations are largely motivated by the financial gains and political objectives and their aim to support the North Korea economic needs and strategic goals. So do you know this when you're talking about this Lazarus group is they become known in the market after the Sony picture hack which has happened in 2014 exactly so they were they were they were silent well it was not something achievement is coming but after Sony hack 2014 their name was circulated everywhere in the cyber security industry now what happened in this particular sony picture is uh, uh, you know this, this group has basically um, hacked their networks and the attack was reportedly uh, you know in the retaliation of the release of the film called the film called the interview exactly the, the film was interview and which is depicted assassination of the north korean leader which is called jim kong so the hack is result into the release of the confidential information, confidential data, including the unreleased films, personal employee information and executive emails. And after that particular hack, you know, there's a great brand impact happened for the Sony pictures. So that is the first important one. Second, they came in the news in 2016, which is called as a Bangladesh Bank Heast. So in one of the largest financial cyber heast in history was this group has attempted to steal one billion dollars from the Bangladesh Central Bank to the SWIFT banking system and they successfully exfiltrated approximately uh, 81 million dollars before the fraudulent transactions were flagged and this this news was created a buzzword about the security of the SWIFT system and the bank system of Bangladesh another thing which created a global impact by this particular group was WannaCry ransomware I'm sure you heard about that so what happened in this particular attack is uh, they perform a WannaCry ransomware attack which affected the thousands of the computer worldwide including the critical infrastructure and healthcare systems and this attack leveraged the vulnerability in the Microsoft Windows and demanded a ransom payment in a Bitcoin. So, you know, after this attack, only the Bitcoin trend or all those things came into the market. But you can see before CrowdStrike, this was the attack which basically created a global impact where the, it impacted the global operations and all that. So here you can see the this group was majorly contributed this kind of an attack starting from their Sony picture with a particular cause, Bangladesh Bank with a particular cause and now the last is WannaCry. In WannaCry the biggest concern was they have targeted critical infrastructure which is called healthcare which is a matter of concern. So you can see these kind of a groups which give some kind of a techniques as an idea and as a cyber security researcher or as a cyber security Professional, we should learn from such kind of an attacks. We should learn from this technique so we can able to improve our cybersecurity practices. And it can be a good case study for those people who want to make a career in cybersecurity and want to learn how this happens. If you find this video useful, do subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss the future videos on a similar topic. And uh, we will try to bring more and more case study like that. And if you want more case study from us in on this channel, do share your suggestions in a comment box which help us to improve our content better. Thank you so much. Good day. Bye.